Heather with Ideas to Come, and this is my DT project for KSP, Kitty's Scrap Posts on Zibit, and I will put the links down below. This, wa this is the French Seamstress Sewing Box, and I used uh, Louisa's kit, the French Seamstress, and I love this kit. This is like the second second most favorite. Uh, Love Struck is my favorite favorite. And then this one is my second most favorite because there are so many gorgeous papers on here and cutouts. Uh, I love them. Love them, love them, love them. And um, with Louisa's kits, you can um, use different ones with each other because the colors just go so well together they go together well um, I love these and I cut some out to put in there but I don't know what I did with them so um, I will put them in later but look at all these beautiful cutouts that she has in the kit look at that aren't those awesome I have some that I printed out course I use some and I am using some in another project and I most likely will be using more in other projects but aren't they so gorgeous look at those look at these flowers I love these scissors look at that look at how vibrant that is and look at the buttons and the envelopes Awesome what you get. Look at these cards. These are so gorgeous. What I was thinking I'm going to do is I'm gonna get the I wanna call them the bobbin the bobbins, the spools, and put lace on them and put them inside the box. That's what I want to do. But look at these papers, aren't they gorgeous? Let me see if I can zoom out. I can't zoom out anymore, so I'm not done. Look at that. Oh, I just love that sewing machine. Isn't that gorgeous? And look at the dress form on this. And then the clock. So pretty. Love all these papers. And these would go perfect with Love Struck. So I can use those two kits together. I think I copied every single page. <laughs> because I printed out every single page because I just love them. Look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? That is so gorgeous. And these are the little cards, the button cards. Oh, that's a sewing machine. <laughs> that's something else that I'm gonna use this kit for. And so, share my box with you the French seamstress sewing box and this lid actually came came off I found this at a yard sale I attached this this handle that I had in my stash and I put some textured paste on it and then I glittered it up with some of my purple glitter so that it would have a handle to be able to open it up and this is the top I used um, Gina's uh, craft supplies one this uh, Chinese braid trim very gorgeous this is one of the cutouts the thimbles from the kit the scissors I love these I, I love these and the dress form as you saw on there I cut it out <laughs> this is oh, I love it and I just popped it up with some um, foam tape this butterfly I made I cut out of the paper so I actually took the paper printed it out and cut out my butterfly to match and made him three-dimensional and then I put some bling on him these uh, these this trim here is from craft supplies one and all of these flowers are from craft supplies one these are the shabby chic um, flowers which I am not sure she had once she runs out of those she's out of those so if you want these type of flowers you'll want to go get them and a rosebud there some different ones this is just a leaf that I had in my stash and then on 
the front, I put this, well, around the whole side, I put this gorgeous lace, and it's actually a, a stretchy lace. It's elastic, and it has all these beautiful beads on it, and it's sparkly. Um, it's from Craft Supplies 1. Love that trim. Hope you guys can see how it sparkles and has and her prices are so so reasonable so um, I'm thinking about getting some more of that if she still has some and this right here is one of the bottle caps um, these French seamstress bottle caps and you can purchase those also and I put this in a checkered uh, a wood checker piece and then I uh, put some glass gloss what is it um it's not glossy accents it's the glass um I have it right here sorry guys the um paper glaze i think that's the one i use on top so that it could and then i put some of that beading around and then I, another butterfly that i cut out from the paper and you can see that it matches the paper and then of course my favorite trim here on the bottom on this side I just left it plain with the paper I used the paper there all the way around of course. absolutely love it I didn't want to cover it up I just loved it so much and then another one of those wooden checkers if I find any more of those I am gonna buy them I love them um, I bought these ones at a yard sale and my favorite trim and then again on the front and on the inside I just threw in some of my old these are some of my mom's old threads um, that I had in my throat my sewing kit and I just put them in there um, and some buttons that I had and a thimble that I had. So I just threw those in there. Um, and that is it. Oh, the bottom. I also papered the bottom. Of course, it's upside down. It's actually this way. Of course, I put my stamp there. But I used these little gemstones to um, put on the bottom. And all of this stuff that I have on here, Julie um, carries in her shop. The only thing that, oh, and I didn't show you this porcelain flowers. Those are gorgeous. I love her porcelain flowers. The only thing that's not from Julie's shop is this little heart and these little beads on the side. I don't know if you can see those there. And I have some on this side as well. Everything else is um, from Louisa's shop and Julie's shop. So there's my French seamstress sewing box. Hope you all like it. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And um, if you have any questions, please, please feel free to ask. And I will certainly try to get back to you as quickly as possible. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I appreciate you um, and all your comments. Um, I really appreciate those. So um, I will talk to y'all soon. Bye for now.